video to help you in case you're having Boeing problems. So first of all, you have to remember that Boeing is one of the most difficult parts about playing the violin. And you have to learn to be very patient with yourself, okay? You have to do it a lot and you have to practice a lot so that one day it can sound very beautifully. Do not get discouraged if it doesn't sound perfect on your first attempt, okay? So what you want to do is just practice your open strings without reading music. You have to get used to just bowing. One of the common mistakes is to use very little bow. When we use very little bow, it's very hard to make a beautiful sound. Look what happens if I only use very little bow. You hear how my sound is kind of crunchy? That can get solved if I use a little bit more bow. Now you don't have to go super fast. You just need to make sure that you're going all the way from here to here, okay? If you only use little, it gets crunchy. Now, the other mistake that we commonly use is that we move a lot our arm and it makes our bow go not straight. Our bow has to go parallel to the bridge, right? It has to go straight. So, if you're having trouble with that, there is one thing you can do. You can practice with your bow on your shoulder. Get a little cloth so that you don't get rosin over your clothes and put your bow on your shoulder. This will not hurt your bow. And you have to make sure that you get used to not moving your whole arm. This part of your arm should not move. You only want to move this part and it's going to move out and in, right? Like that. That's what you need to move. If you're moving like this, that's gonna make your bow go crooked. If you're going like this, that's gonna make you touch all the strings. Your movement should just be very smooth down and up using a lot of bow. You see how this is not moving? You can ask somebody to help you keep it in place or you can use your violin hand to keep this part of your arm very still while you practice going up and down. Now, our bow sometimes rocks from one string to the other, but the movement should be very small, not like this, just very small rock from one string to the other. You can do this just a couple times or a couple minutes every time before you practice until you get used to the movement and then you can practice the same movement on your violin, just going slowly and gently down and up. You see how this part is not moving? And then the other thing is you have to think if your bow is too heavy, if you press down too hard, even if you're using a lot of bow, going to make an ugly sound. If you hear that sound, that crunchy sound, it means you're pressing too hard. So let go a little bit, relax, make sure you're nice and relaxed and go up and down. Alrighty. Those are the common mistakes. Now, if you've tried all of these and you're still having problems, just let me know and I'll try to give you some more advice. Okay. Happy practice.